Hello everybody, as you can see, this is on YouTube. YouTube. And this is and this is based and this is as you can see probably from the title. But just wanted to make sure. How to make planet squares on Excel. This is my this is not completely my way because probably someone someone on the internet has already done it but whatever the case yeah so before I do this whole Punnett square thing let me just explain the problem really quickly I'm gonna like, breeze through it it's not gonna be that long I'm making it longer by just doing this so we have um, a specimen, I don't remember what kind of specimen, but it was like a rodent of some sort, I think. And and it has, and we're, and we're basically focusing on three different alleles. We have, um, and these, these alleles are, are on different chromosomes, therefore, you know, there's not going to be any weird fluctuation in numbers and like distort and like a distortion of numbers of any sort I feel like I'm not I feel, I, I feel like the words I'm saying are like not correct and like the definitions are just wrong whatever the case may be I'm not concerned right now so these three alleles are are we're basically basically we need to create a punnett square to show the genotypes and phenotypes of each of the F2 offspring. But, you know, we need an F1 and an F0. The F0 offspring will be these these two lovely gene notypes. Anyway, um, it'll be a completely dominant uh, specimen and a completely recessive specimen. And those two will be to create a completely heterozygous specimen. This is the easy part. Because literally, you cannot make anything else with these two breeding. Just heterozygous completely. But now in the F1 gener but now in the F2 generation, the two of these two offspring breed as well and we must figure out the possibilities of that so let's get started I took the liberty in writing out all the different possibilities I counted one two three four five six seven eight there are eight possibilities it's gonna be eight by eight don't be intimidated it'll be easy breezy I, I was gonna make a cover girl joke but I forgot the lines. So, whatever. Oh, yeah, uh, did I mention that this was for my biology class extra credit thingy? Um, that's, you know, just... And I decided to go all try hard and decided to put it on YouTube. That's right, I'm a show-off. I'm not really a show-off. Now, let me, let me, anyway, but that is besides the point. We have to do actual work. So, to make the actual table, because we can't do just this as a table that's pretty, pretty special. Uh, we have to, you know, just do a special paste transpose. Uh, that's, yeah. And now to the oh-so-exciting part. Don't worry, this is actually fairly simple. Fairly simple equals all right so now we have equals because that's where you start and you use this special code concatenate I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it I don't I have no idea what it what it actually means like the actual word if that's even an actual word but I do know what it does what it does is it takes two values from two different cells, you know, just how many two that you put in, and it just 
sticks them both in a box. In the box you specify. So these two cells we're going to put. So the two cells are B. You know what? Let's start with A. A two and B one. Yeah. Seems easy, right? Well, we well, well it looks right the first time. But hey. Get a load of this. Who says that anymore? Get a load of this. Whatever. I'm, I'm overthinking this. Anyway, this is not right because it becomes a big mess. This, 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 this part's correct, but this all, no. Big no, no. So what do we do? Just right on here. Actually, no, let's just control Z it just so it's easier. So, what are we going to do? That clearly doesn't work. So, but the reason why it doesn't work is because it takes the values from here, here, and it basically, if you shift one cell over, it will shift the values that it takes from one cell over. So, basically this, if I do this, becomes watch you'll be amazed that you're basically going from from here to here you're shifting both cells completely rightwards you don't want that because then you'll get a mess like this is and, and and we here at my completely unused channel do not like messes at all. So, what do we do? Easy. Freeze. We basically use a freezing thing, thingy, freezing thingy. That intending. Now, um, um, in a table, you don't want to take values from inside your data table. Well, you don't want to take take values that are a part of your data and just sort of that. That's a bad way to explain it. You don't want to take. You basically don't want to mess. Mess. That. It, 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 you take your data and you basically just combine it with. With another piece of your data. Because. Because in Punnett Squares, that's bad. Because you only want. The alleles that are present like this. I mean, this is a times table pretty much. Except. Instead of using. Um, actual numbers, you're just using. You're just using uh, letters, and you just put them together because you don't know what their value is, so you just put them together. Uh, uh, it seems simple, I think. So, what are you gonna do? Easy. When you look at this row, you you see that. The A is constant in this entire column, not row, column. That means that you do not want this A value to change. It does if you drag it across again. You should have, well, if you noticed it before, that's what happens. Right? It changes to a B value if you drag it across because, because this is moving right along with this. Right? Yeah. So what do you do? Simple. You take since you since you do want the A to remain the same, but the two, three, four, five, all this to change because you want the data value to because you want different data in each thing, you must so quote unquote freeze the A. The A will remain constant and the A column will be the only thing used when you drag it across. 
Now for the B1 part, you you actually do not want the B because the B, B, B because the B is not a part of the of the alleles that you have. In fact, you want the B to change so that the data can be affected correctly. If this makes no sense, I apologize. I I I, I, I promise you it will work. So so we want the B to change, but we want the one here to to stay the same because we don't want you know the one running willy nilly with the two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we're gonna freeze the one. So we got the same answer as before. It looks fine. It looks fine. And hey, look at that. And hey, look at that. There you have a programmed Punnett square. I apologize, this was not the actual Excel programming. Uh, it's n because I looked that up and it is long, hard, and confusing. Therefore, I just did this. A lot simpler. Still gets the job done, I mean. I'm just saying. Uh, that's about it. Don't like, don't favorite, and there's absolutely no point in subscribing. See you.